So that's not CNC milling, it's not CNC turning, uh, that's actually wire EDM or electro discharge machining. And if we wanted to get that kind of invisible fit where the where the die literally molds in with the punch and you can't tell what's what anymore, to my knowledge, you just can't achieve that kind of thing with a milling cutter. I mean, if you have the... Uh, oh, here we go. Because one of these cutters is literally taking scoops out of the material, it leaves waves, and uh, those things will align with each other or misalign with each other and stop you from getting that close. Even if you're going super, super low feeds and speeds, or well, low feeds and high speeds, uh, you're just not going to be able to get that kind of finish. But when you're a spark eroding something, there's always no limit to how good the tolerance you can get is. And but although it says here that one side is die and one side is the punch, I've personally never seen an application for the tolerance being that tight other than it looks absolutely fantastic and it's showing off the process. I'd love it if somebody could pop in the comments and tell me that I'm wrong. I've never worked in a factory that actually does punching before. Uh, but to my knowledge, you always need a little bit of clearance somewhere for for the material to go. And if it's that close, then perhaps your machine is going to gum up over time. To be honest, I'm just not sure, but it's very interesting.